Coach, survive in advance. I mean, that's tournament yeah. basketball. Is that what we saw here tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think you saw a little bit of that, but I think you saw some – I'm hoping you saw some grit and some resiliency and – you know, when you're taking the other team's best shot and, uh, you know, you're a little bit frustrated and maybe it's not going the way you wanted, be able to just dig your feet in a little bit deeper and say, hey, it ain't happening tonight. I, I was proud that I think our guys did that tonight. I was talking to the guys. It seemed like every time you made a run, they had an answer. It just, I mean, how frustrating is that to just keep seeing a team keep hitting that shot? Yeah, it's, it's tough because a lot of them, Keith, were – closely guarded you know I mean we were contesting them and and uh, you know I just thought we were a little bit like sometimes you get in sports you get kind of reactive and we weren't proactive and we needed to start making plays down there whether it was going for a strip going for a steal going for we were guarding everything perfect but you know they were still making the shot so uh, our guys, to their credit, David made some plays defensively. Gary did. Kyle did. Kevin made a big play defensively. Shemek had a block. And I think that's what kind of started swinging it our way. It was, you know, we'll get, get to the game-winning shot in a second, but that energy level we saw at David Stockton in the second half where he was taking charges and knocking balls out of bounds. He didn't light up the stat sheet until the right. last shot. Right. But just talk about what he brought to the table in that second half. And that's kind of what the dilemma that, you know, with David, that's what he can do. He can make things happen, you know. and, and But sometimes he tries to make things happen and leaves a three-point shooter open, yeah. you know. So he's kind of a riverboat gambler. And, uh, you know, tonight – we needed that, and so, uh, and you know, to his credit, he he made a bunch of positive plays that you know put us in position to to win, including that last play. But you know, that's that's the juggling act. You know, they're also doubling our posts yeah. off his guy or Gerard's guy. Yeah. So you know, you got Sam and Shemek. That was our best matchup of the night. Was their undersized guys trying to guard Sam and Shem, and so sometimes you got to go with the shooters lineup, you know, so they can't double. So, but uh, you know, our guys found a way. Talk about that last shot for David going down, hitting that shot with like a second left. I mean, what did you see on that play from him? Well, what I what I saw was uh, he's had a knack. We practice a lot of situations, you know. We call them one minute games, so we're in this you know a lot in practice. And he's got kind of a little magical act uh, where he just makes those shots. I mean, no matter if he's on the blue team or the red team, he, he'll hit a half quarter. He'll hit it. I mean, he's just got a knack for that. So I. Decided to put the ball in his hands and put the shooters in the corners. And uh, I, I didn't want him to go too fast was my only concern. He did a great job, you know, so they wouldn't get something going back the other way. And he just, you know, he made a big-time shot. That's a shot of a lifetime, you know. You talked last week about the different format and a day off to prepare for yeah. you for lower seed. Do you think that we saw that in the first half, a team that was rested and practiced and ready? Yeah, no question. I mean, you talk about a thing that's built for a 10 seed and an 8 seed. I mean, same with Loyola. I mean, they, I mean, it doesn't need to be fair if you finish 10th or 8th. You know, it needs to be really, really hard. You need to play five days in a row if you want to get to the NCAA tournament, you know, not – a couple days off, a couple back massages, and, you know, whirlpool and get to hang out. I mean, it's just that's not right. Nobody else does it like this. So we need to we need to take a hard look at that. But that – I don't want that taking anything away from Santa Clara. I watched Santa Clara the other night and just had a sick feeling in my stomach, like, boy, these guys are playing good. Uh, they're seeing a big rim, and they are really d and up, and, and Kerry had them ready to play, and they've always played us tough. I mean, it was – we hit a last second shot at Santa Clara. Of all the teams that were in the kennel, I think they, them in San Diego probably played us the best uh, this year. So, I mean, we knew we were going to be in for a game irregardless of the rest. But, I mean, we, we definitely have to reevaluate that thing. You guys are going to have even more fans down here after the weekend, is my guess. But they really seem to try to pick you guys up over and over. Is that something you guys felt down the stretch? They did tonight. I mean, you could feel it. And they had to multiple times because it was multiple <laughs> runs that would get going and then get stopped. And then another run, the fans would get us going. And then, darn it, they hit a tough shot. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, you know, to be all the way – you know, a thousand miles away from home or whatever and have such a great following down here. I mean, that that's what's made this tournament. That's why this league tournament has been a success because of Gonzaga fans. There's, there's no doubt about that. Last thing I have for you, that, that day off you guys get now, and, and you, we've, you've done it before, but what do you do with a team in Las Vegas when you don't, you know, you can't really let them out to play? What do you do with a team? You know, these guys are pretty good with stuff like that. First of all, they're exhausted <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> tonight. A bunch of them have family. Almost all of them have their families down here. 
So, uh, you know, they'll go out with their families a little bit tonight. We'll get them back together for film once we see who we're playing. And then it's just tomorrow's just business as usual. They'll have, you know, two film sessions, two practice sessions, and then, you know, a team meal and probably another film session 11 o'clock at night, and then it's time to, to rock and roll.